Hello, I want to welcome you back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay where I sell undervalued items for a profit. In today's video, I'm going to go over the weekend sales, letting you know where I sourced the item from, what I paid for the item, and what the item sold for. This week, we had $1,056 in sales. So let's jump in and see what sold. Today is Tuesday, January 10th, and we have three orders going out today. First order we have going out is this women's Blair sweatsuit. Pick this up on high bid. That's that huge high bid haul where I picked up 46 lots. This particular lot, I only paid $2. This sold for $23.10 and the buyer is paying $11.59 in shipping. So let's go to our high bid tally. So we bring up our high bid tally, 46 lots, Blair sweatsuit, that was on lot 490, paid $2 for that lot. Estimated profits is about $20. That brings us up to $723 over our initial 611 buy-in. So that 723 is profit. Next item going out is an RA item. Pick these up on Walmart clearance. Mint to each of these for 25 cents. It's this Ant Bait Illuminator. Now the buyer did come in and buy both of these. These are my last two. So unless I can get another deal at Walmart, probably won't see me selling these anymore. These two sold for $15.94 and they are going free shipping. Last item going out, thrift store item. Bought a box of Precious Moments coffee mugs. That box I paid $5 for. There was 14 coffee mugs in there. So cost of goods into this is probably what? Not even 50 cents. This does date back to 1997. This is the Precious Moments 1997 to a very special sister coffee mug. Now this one is a little unique if you notice. It's got the indent. It actually has a paired coffee mug to go with it. It wasn't in the box. But I did have one that was complete and that's what it would look like. Where you would have this one here and the other one right there. This sold for $10.64 and the buyer is paying $10.85 in shipping. Today is Wednesday, January 11th and we have five orders going out today. First item going out happens to be a thrift store item. It's this deal or no deal DVD game. Pick this up at my local thrift store. I'm only into it for a dollar. This sold for $14.82 and it is going free shipping. Next item going out. Another thrift store item, but this one was free. All their magazines are free, and when I see them, I go through them. I happen to pick this one up. It's Mick and Keith and 60 Years of the Rolling Stones. I went and decided to go ahead and list it. This sold for $4.65, and the buyer is paying shipping. Next item going out, an item I picked up on that huge high bid haul. This happens to be a Barajusa doll. It is the Diana Collection. That lot I paid $18. I got four dolls on it. One has already sold. This happens to be the second one. I still have the other two to list. Went and accepted a best offer of $66. And the buyer is paying $17.17 in shipping. So, we go to our high bid tally. Okay, if you're new here, keeping track of a large high bid haul that I picked up. I had purchased 46 lots. Total buy-in for all 46 lots was $611. We're since into the profit on this already. This item, estimated profits after fees, $58. That brings us up to $281 over our initial buy-in. That was on lot seven. And again, I paid $18 for that lot. Next item going out, thrift store item. It's off of that Fibercraft disc collection that I picked up at the thrift store. It's two boxes, only paid $6 for everything. These happen to be the salad dessert plates. Had six of them, decided to lot them into three and make quantity of two. 
Buyer came in and bought one set of three. Buyer paid $14.20 and they are paying $9.20 in shipping. Now, when I ship plates out, I actually use American Bubble Boy. In case you're interested, I do have an affiliate link. I'll throw it right up here. This happens to be another thrift store item. Paid $3 for this. I thought it might be worth more. My phone wasn't working in there at the time. It says Tile Fix Match Your Tile. Paid $3 for this. This sold for $11.53. And the buyer is paying $17 in shipping. This will easily go out first class. So that tells me this is going eBay International. Last item going out happens to be one of the thrift store free magazines I picked up. This happened to be the last one of these. Jesus, who do I say that I am? Had three of these. Two of them sold off. This happens to be the last one. This sold for $5.18 and the buyer is paying shipping. Today is Thursday, January 12th, and we have one order going out today. Order we have going out today is a thrift store item. Paid three dollars for this. It's this Dymo label maker. It is the LMR 160 D1. Did test it. It doesn't come with the power cable, but it does take batteries. And does have a cartridge in it. This sold for $19.10 and the buyer is paying $8.20 in shipping. Today is Friday the 13th. Today is Friday, January 13th, and we have one order going up today. Paid $3 for this. It's a Marvel's Mad Engine tag. Not sure if you can see the graphics in here, but I do have it up here. This sold for $26.06, and the buyer is paying $5.50 in shipping. Now, when shipping out t-shirts, it's real easy to do. I take one of my poly bags I get off of the eBay store with my store coupon. Just slide it in here, print a label, and ship it out. Today is Tuesday, January 17th, and we have 23 orders going out today. We do have a mixture of orders going out today, all the way from RA, garage sales, thrift stores. So let's jump in and take a look. First item going out to thrift store item. See me sell this before. It's this Black & Decker cordless drill. Had to cancel the last order. I reached out to the buyer. They wanted to do a local pickup, but they never did reach back out to me. So I ended up canceling that and put there was a problem with the address. Got it relisted and it sold that quick. I thought maybe it was the same buyer, but no, this was a different buyer. This is the Black & Decker, <laughs> Mrs. Screen. This is the Black & Decker 18 bolt cordless drill. It's a GCO 1800. It is the 3 8 inch drill. I did put tool only because I didn't include a battery with it. That box actually had four drills, a couple chargers, and about six batteries. So I listed the batteries all separate, listed the drills separate, and I listed the chargers separate. Have sold one of the drills off already. This one sold for $16.11. And the buyer is paying $12.03 in shipping. Next item, another thrift store item. But this I actually picked up in Nevada when I was out visiting family. I hit a couple thrift stores. Picked up this Fuji video cassette. It's an H47 1S double coating. Minted this for just a dollar. It is the one with the hard case on it. This sold for $11.86. And the buyer is paying $8 in shipping. Now this next item, something I had on hand, I used to use this, probably one of the first things I ever listed. As you can see, the photos are pretty bad. Didn't even remove the white background. All it is is this Sprint thumb drive. It's a Sprint Mobile USB broadband mobile Sierra wireless model U598. So this thing's been in my store for probably at least three years. Glad to see it moving out. This sold for $6.62 and the buyer is paying $4.95 in shipping. Now this next one, a thrift store item. I picked this one up locally. It's the Nintendo DS Kirby Mass Attack. 
paid three dollars for this. Probably could have got a little bit more for it, but it was missing the manual. So in the title, I put Kirby Mass Attack Nintendo DS Lite DSi XL 3DS 2DS with case. This sold for $28.86 and the buyer is paying $16 in shipping. $16 in shipping tells me this is definitely going through the eBay international shipping. This next item, RA item, picked this up on Walmart clearance hall after last year's Christmas. Picked up about four of these. This is the last one. It's this Trolls World Tour Christmas one. This one is Poppy. Says I paid $374, but I don't believe I paid that much for this because they were having 90% off. This sold for $12.71 and it is going free shipping. It's light enough. We'll probably go out at an 8 ounce rate. This next item is an item I picked up at a garage sale when I went up to North Carolina for FlipCon. I went garage sailing with Kevin, Commonwealth Picker, Dave Vinci Picker, Carrie, American Arbitrage. Picked up a dish set, sold a lot of those dishes off, still have a few left, into that entire tub for $10. We made that on our first sale plus. These are just the salt and pepper shakers. They are Johnson Brothers. It's the Johnson Brothers Victorian Christmas salt and pepper shakers. These sold for $16.11 and the buyer is paying $6.20 in shipping. Okay, moving along, another thrift store item. Probably had this for probably about a year. It says vintage hot glue gun. As you can see, the package is pretty damaged. I did try to show good photos on it. So I put new old stock in the heart, thermal grip, hot glue gun, and hot melt adhesive number 203. Did put new sealed. It is still sealed. It's just package is, is damaged. So I did list it down a little bit. This sold for $17.81 and the buyer is paying $16.15 in shipping. Next item going out, thrift store item. See me sell a lot of this stuff off. It says Pfeifergraph, three salad plates. The reason I wanted three together, I actually had six in those two boxes where I only paid $6 for all the dishes. So rather than doing a, a four and a two, I decided to do one listing with a quantity of two with three plates. This is the last one. These sold for $13.56 and the buyer is paying $11.59 in shipping. That reminds me, I actually ran out of bubble wrap last week. Went and put in an order with American Bubble Boy, in case you're interested. Ordered the big bubbles and the small bubbles. Those are the ones I like to use. Had that within two days. Next item. Thrift store item. This one was free. It's the Jesus Answer Book by John MacArthur. This didn't sell for much. Sold for $6.76 and the buyer is paying $3.49 in shipping. Next item going out to thrift store item. I believe I'm into this for about $2. It says Bell How Paw Perfect. Safe and perfect way to trim your pet's nails as seen on TV. This sold for $19.51 and the buyer is paying $11.15 in shipping. More dishes going out. This buyer came in and bought two lots from this dish set. I'm into the dish set for $20. Already made our money back. So we're well into the profit on this. It sees Miwa, if I pronounce that correctly, Vintage Snowman, Cernade to Serving Bowl. It is a 9.5 by 2.5. Does date back to 1997. This buyer came in and bought the vegetable serving bowl and hey, <laughs> I broke that. And the buyer came in and bought the creamer and the sugar dish from the same set. They came in and bought the creamer and the sugar dish. So for both of these, the buyer paid $34.77 and they are paying $18.40 in shipping. Now, the next two orders came in differently, but I'll put them together. It's this Deconal Fungicide Concentrate. This is an RA item. I'm into it for $1.50. Starting to run low on these. 
So I sold two of these. First buyer paid $22.91 and it is going free shipping. And the second buyer also paid $22.91 and it's going free shipping as well. With these, I put these in a flat rate envelope, costing me $7.60 to ship each one of these. Now this next item, I actually have in a bag because I couldn't get this in a clear poly bag. But I did put what the item was and I put a custom skew on here. This is the DRI Duck Crossfire Thermal Lined Jacket Plain Hoodie Men's Large Dark Brown 400. Paid a dollar for this at my local thrift store. This sold for $40.76. And the buyer is paying $11.59 in shipping. Now with this, all I'm going to do, since it's all ready to go, I did put some tape on it just to secure it down, is I'm just going to print out the label and slap it on here. Now this next item, a thrift store item, I paid $1.50 for it. It's this, the Pampered Chef number 113. Paid $1.50 for this. Thought it might be worth a little bit more. Probably could have listed it up, but it sold very quick. I listed it over the weekend and it sold the next day. This sold for $13.95 and the buyer is paying $12.10 in shipping. Now this next item is an RA item. I picked this up at Walmart Clearance. At the time I picked up two other units. Those ones have since sold. And I have this one. Listed this one a lot higher than the other ones. I'm into this for $50. This sold for $149. 56 and it is going free shipping. This probably cost me around $15 to ship. This next item going out, probably an item a lot of people don't like picking these up for two reasons. One, chances are when you pick these up at garage sales, for me it's probably about a 70-30 that it works. 70% that it actually works, but I know a lot of other resellers probably have a lot lower percentage as far as working or not working. So pick this up for $2. Another reason they don't like picking these up is they don't like shipping these, but I find these pretty easy to ship. It's the JBC HR-VP674U Precision 19U. Did test it and it doesn't have a remote. I did include a set of RA cables and a blank VHS tape. It does help the sale if you notice so if I'm competing with somebody and they have the same exact VCR and I've included cables and a blank VHS tape, more than likely the buyer's going to come in and buy mine because there's a little bit more with it than just selling a unit off by itself. Normally these I pick up at a garage sale or thrift store about 50 cents. Same thing with the RA cables, anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar. So I get those and I just hold on to them so when I get VCRs I have to put with them. This sold for $42.46 and the buyer is paying $11.05 in shipping. So $11.05 in shipping that tells me it's probably going pretty close within a couple states from me. Okay getting down to the last few items for today. Pick these up at my local thrift store. It's the Mary Engelbretts if I pronounce that correctly. These are the in the title I put spring, summer, autumn, winter, Hardbound books with dust covers, so they do have the dust covers. They are hardback books. Paid a dollar for all four of these. Now when picking up books, if they come in a set, it's always best if you can get the whole set and just list it together. It sells much quicker. These sold for $16.96 and the buyer is paying $4.83 in shipping. This is definitely something send out media mail. Now this next item, probably an item for the price I should have left at my local thrift store. Norpro Cookie Icing Press Gun Deluxe Set with 20 dies and 3 icing tips. It is number 3300 and as you can see this is an older listing because I didn't even remove the background. But in the photo I did take everything out and indicated that on the very first photo. So I went to this for $2. This sold for $8.46 and the buyer is paying $10.61 in shipping. This next item, another thrift store item. I'm into all seven of these for just $2. Did have a buyer come in this weekend and message me and said that's an odd number set. Which seven, yeah it is, but that's what I had. So I put set lot. They asked me if I would sell one of these. I figured, yeah, I'll just let it ride, see what happens. 
Meyer came in about an hour later and bought all seven of them. All seven sold for $34.81 and the buyer is paying $10.09 in shipping. Now this next one made a mistake on the shipping on this one. It's this Story of Pokemon. I picked this up in my thrift store in their free bin. Happened to be two of them. I listed it down. I just listed it for $1.95 plus shipping. But on the shipping, I accidentally put media. This cannot go media mail. So it'll cost me just a little bit extra to send this out first class. But this will still go out at a four ounce rate. Next item going out. Another Christmas item I picked up after last Christmas last year. This happens to be my last one of the candy canes, the Jolly Ranchers. Just had one of these. Into this for 25 cents. Picked this up on Walmart clearance. I had purchased about 19 of these. I was selling two of them together. I did have one left. So I listed it all by itself. This sold for $4 even. And the buyer is paying $4.20 in shipping. Now by itself it's not a lot. But when you have multi-quantities, it's one listing that keeps selling. Now this last item... Picked up, it's actually uh, two different places. One is off of High Bid, and the other one's from my local thrift store. I'm into one of these for a dollar. The other one was on a lot with a bunch of cassette tapes. We've already made our money back on that, so cost of goods on this one is hard to judge. We'll just say 25 cents, so we'll say cost of goods, a dollar 25. Both of these sold for 18.66, and the buyer is paying 9.98 in shipping. Those are the items we have going out this week to go ahead and close out the weekend sales. This week was actually really good for me. Had a lot of things go out. I hope this gives you an idea of a reseller of some of the things that are currently selling on eBay right now and what the potential profits are. Until next time, keep picking. So this week we had over four. So this week we had over a thousand. This week we. Last item. Today is Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> Today is Friday. This. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, and we have five. Oops. What we have going out today is a thrift store item. Paid $3 for this. This sold, this sold for, this sold for $149.95. This sold for $104. This sold.